Hey guys, Dustin Slade here in Denver. I wanted to make a quick video to show you how you can add a domain name to your hosting. And what I use is GoDaddy and HostGator. And uh, the reason I like GoDaddy is they have pretty cheap domains. They have really, really good customer service. And they've always treated me right, so I really like them. But it doesn't really matter wherever you have your domain name, um, wherever you purchased it, it doesn't really matter. You can plug in the the info here. I'm going to show you here in a second. So what you're going to do is you're going to log in to your HostGator account. And to do that, it's kind of confusing the way they have it. I'll show you on a different browser here. Um, when you first come to HostGator, you know, you'll get the login information and everything, and it'll look like this. And once you're inside here, you look around, you're looking for the login, and you can't find the login. So it, it, it makes it slightly confusing, and once you look at it again, so what you're going to do is type in your domain name, the main one that you've set up, and then do forward slash cpanel. And once you do that, it'll come up and it'll log up like this. Uh, in your HostGator, it'll log up like this. This is the back office of HostGator. Really pretty good hosting service. Um, I like it because you get unlimited domains that you can host up. You have different, you have a, a different amounts of hosting you can get, but unlimited uh, domains. So what you're going to do is I've got in my GoDaddy account, I've got um, several domains that I've purchased. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to go in there. So go into your login, go into your domains, launch your domains, and you can purchase one you know, easily right there. I have several here. So I'm going to take this getpaidonyoutube.com. And I've just got some brand new stuff going on with this site. I'm going to switch it up a little bit and make it so I've got hosting to a, uh, a WordPress blog. And what I've got now is just the, the URL, get paid on youtube.com, and it's forwarding to this specific uh, URL here. It's a uh, YouTube training. And so I'm going to switch it up a little bit. I'm going to make it so that it's it uh, points to a blog. And so what I want to do is I want to make sure the forwarding is off. Um, I do not want the, the website to keep forwarding to this spot. I'm going to forward it to a blog. So I'll save that. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to HostGator and plug in um, some name servers here, these name servers. And that's where it doesn't, you know, it doesn't have to be GoDaddy, but as long as it's on your uh, domain name hosting and you change your domain name servers, then you're good to go. So what you do is you go into your HostGator, log into your cPanel, and then you're going to come down to the very bottom of the page here. You've got a couple different uh, ways to do it if you've... Um, if you are going to add on a new domain, what you want to do is make sure that you copy at the bottom here these name servers. And if you just copy one, usually they're just a, a number off there. So I'm just going to copy that. Control C will copy it. And what you can do is come in here and add on domains. And what I want to do is add in a new domain. It's called get paid on YouTube.com. It auto populates once you do this first sign here, it auto populates here. You can create a password. Um, let's see. Oh, good. It doesn't show you. I don't want to show you my password.
Okay. Put in the password, add a domain, and the next step will be plugging in some of this info. So while that's loading, and it just created the account, um, it put an FTP account up in there too. Perfect. So we'll go back to the main screen here. And now you're going to use the domain name that you took from the HostGator account. Once you're inside here, remember it's at the very bottom here, and you grab these name servers. And copy that, come back to your GoDaddy account, or the domain is, click on Manage the Name Servers. Manage, please. It's going to manage the name servers, and you're going to want to click on the custom. Come down here to the custom, enter custom name servers. This little pop up will pop up. You paste those name servers into there. Remember, there's just one digit off there. Click OK. It validates, and then we'll save it. And now it will be submitted, it may take a few minutes to reflect the changes. So we're good in GoDaddy. We're good to go here. We can log out and we don't need this anymore. So we come to HostGator and now that we've added a new uh, domain, came down here, added a new domain, now what we're going to do is come down to Fantastico Deluxe and this is a software service that makes it really easy for you to install a bunch of different stuff actually. There's a bunch of different softwares over here. Um, all this different stuff you can install in here. It's really pretty cool. What I want to do is install a blog. Now you can do a uh, control panel, you can do um, a WordPress blog, a Nucleus blog, a B2 Evolution blog, you can host the classified ads, you can do specific content management with this, there's a lot you can do. I'm just going to show you WordPress. WordPress is, this is how you install your own WordPress blog so you control it, you have full access to it and no one else does. So we're going to click on WordPress. And it's going to wait here for a second as it starts to load. And um, what you're going to do here is see, I've already got an installation, current installations here. Uh, what I could do is click on new installation. Boom. It will install it. And it's good to go. So we'll click on this new installation. And we'll click the domain that we want to install it on. Get paid on YouTube is what I want. And I can leave that blank. If I wanted to have a, a directory in there, it would be, for instance, forward slash something. And then the, that's where the blog would be, like forward slash blog. If you leave it blank, it's in the main directory. Um, you can put in a uh, username and password here. And that's it, guys. Once you install your username and password, let's see if it, yeah, it's gonna, it won't let me advance in, unless I show you my password. So I'm just going to end the video here. But that's it. Once it's installed here, it's good to go. You have uh, your WordPress blog. And I'll go over to it. And now you'll have a brand new website that you can start plugging into and make it easy super easy to do a couple little steps and with HostGator you can host several different domains several different websites and as you start consuming more bandwidth it'll go up and up so thanks for watching guys if you have any questions 
make sure you uh, enter them into the comments and I'll be happy to talk to you make sure I get in contact with you there um, this has been a simple easy tip and make sure you subscribe to the channel so you get some more thanks guys we'll see you on the inside get yourself going with your own GoDaddy domain name and with a HostGator hosting through HostGator and you will be happy that you did it's a really good deal and you will wind up with an authoritative looking blog that you can start building you can put your own content there's no other advertisements on there for you so thanks for watching guys Dustin Slade in Denver subscribe to the channel and we'll see you on the next training video bye bye